This is so weird. Holy moly, it's been so long. Um, <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Christiane, otherwise known here as I Heart Airbrush, and today we are back. Yes, we are back from a long break, but I wanted to go ahead and finish off 2020 strong and put out this video on the final day of the year as we dive into the new year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into a very fun and inspired New Year's Eve eye look. This look uh, is not new. It's a look that I actually did a couple of New Year's Eves ago, but I was inspired to go ahead and redo and kind of recreate and revamp this look after watching a video from Allie Glines. Yes, I watched a video of hers this morning about her New Year's Eve look, and it just, it was very similar to the one that I had done a couple of years ago, so it kind of just inspired me to maybe go ahead and just do that look and uh, actually film it this time. When I did it originally, I didn't film it, but I did take loads of pictures, which I put on social media. So yeah, before I ramble on and all of that, because you know, it's been a while since I've been here, we're going to go ahead and create that look today. It's very fun. It's purples. It's, it's total vibe. There's glitter involved. There's lashes involved. There's crystals involved. So it is very festive. So I figured it would be perfect to go ahead and start the new year with a very bright, fun look. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to the look <laughs> so I already have my foundation brows freckles we added some freckles because you know I figured if I'm gonna go all out on my makeup to just go all in dive in all that good stuff so we have foundation freckles blush bronze and brows done right now so we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the eye look I'm gonna pop out a highlighter depending on how the eye look goes um, that's when I'll kind of decide which highlighter I'm gonna use and then we'll do like, you know, the full shebang. So let's go ahead and dive into the eye look. I have several shades of purple that I'm going to be dipping into and in purple like colors. I'm gonna go ahead and give those a shake. Wow, it's been so long since I've been in this situation. I feel like low-key nervous. And I don't know why, because I'm sitting here by myself. Like honestly, like I shouldn't feel nervous, right? But I'm like super nervous right now. <laughs> it's, it's a trip. But anyways. So the shades that I'm going to be using for today's look include Orchid Plum, which is a throwback. I absolutely love this shade. It's one of the OG Dynair shades. And then I'm going to go ahead and include Be Mine. We might dip into some Villain or some Nova. These are deeper purple tones, but we might dip into those just to add some depth to the outer corner, outer V. And then I'm going to be dipping into Rodenite, which is part of their Crystal series, and Cashmere, which is part of their Opalescent line. So, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get it. Let's get it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in, and then we'll get this party started. All right, so we're all zoomed in and ready. I'm going to be using my Dynair Pro Rechargeable for a portion of this video. I might go ahead and go in with the one, but I have the Pro Rechargeable here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dip in with that one. I have it plugged in. I usually just leave it plugged in because it sits here on my vanity. So the first shade we're going to go in with is Orchid Plum. It's a really, really beautiful shade. I'll go ahead and give you a little close-up of that shade right here. It's like this. Really, really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this shade to the transition crease area like so. Just take a drop of that. Man, it's been a while. I got to get my groove back, boy. Like I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I do. All right, so hopefully by halfway through this video, we'll be all good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the transition crease area just to add some haze. It's a beautiful, soft, almost like a lilac tone. Beautiful. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to dip into is called Be Mine. And now you've seen this shade on my channel before. It is one of my all-time favorite Dynair shades. I am a lover of purple, so this shade had to be included in this video. This is like a beautiful pop. It has a little bit of a shift to it, which is why I like it so much. So we're just going to go ahead and dive into this shade. I'll give you a little bit of a closer look at it. Just like this. 
And we're just gonna apply this shade to the outer corner of the lid. I say weird, and I'm just gonna apply this shade to the outer corner of the lid. I need to break that habit. 2021, I will break that habit. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shade, outer corner like so, blend it. center not laying out too much I want it mostly layered here on the outer corner so you catch that shift right here okay the next shade I'm gonna go in with is called Rodonite and it's from Dinaris crystal series collection and that shade actually looks like sorry I'm gonna have the airbrush running in the background it's just easier instead of me just going ahead and turning it on and off but that shade looks like this focus and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the mid lid blending it in toward the inner corner of the lid now the shade is super sparkly so I got to be mindful where I am holding my airbrush just so I can control that to the best of my abilities and that's another reason why it's going in the center of the lid it's just adding that highlighted pop so you can see I'm blending it into the B mine and it's just creating that really like highlighted glow in the center of the lid make sure to take it up high enough and then we're gonna have it go toward the front so I almost get like this kind of color shift going on. All right, so now that we're done with that shade, I'm gonna give my airbrush a quick, quick rinse, quick flush, because that shade is pretty like uh, glittery. And sometimes that glitter tends to get stuck to the needle. So I'm giving it a quick flush with some cleaner and then just taking a brush to the front end just to kind of make sure everything stays smooth and I don't have to swap airbrushes. Okay, and the next shade I'm going to go in is Cashmere. It looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the inner corner of the lid as well as the tear duct. This shade is really shimmery as well. So I'm going to be mindful when I place it down. I'm just going to kind of grab my lashes there. on the tear duct super punchy super shimmery yes I am glowing now <laughs> I'm glowing all the way around as you can see some of that shimmer got down here but that's okay this is a new year's look so we don't have to be too clean with it if you want to avoid that go ahead and make sure just to use a shadow shield when you're spraying to go ahead and protect the under eye area I do that quite a bit in my tutorials just not today <laughs> All right, so I'm liking how everything is looking, but I do want a little bit of more depth here in the outer corner. So I am gonna go ahead and take, I think to keep everything very glowy, I'm gonna take Villain instead of Nova. Now, Villain is from the Kohler Opalescent line. It has a shimmer to it, it's like a metallic shimmer to it. And Nova is actually from the Glamour line. So this is a matte shade. So because everything's really glowy and all of that is giving me like total Charlotte Tilbury vibes, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with that glow and go in with Villain. Taking one drop of that, and then we're just going to apply it just to this bottom portion of the outer corner. Just for some depth. Oh yeah, that's it. Perfect. That was right. That was right. Okay, and then to go ahead and work my way all the way around, because I already have my foundation on, I'm just going to go ahead and work the bottom lower lash line as well. With this deeper purple hue. That way we get some cohesion all the way around. There we go, make sure they're all the same. Little spot right there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these shimmer shades make my eyes water. It's all good. All right. So as you can see, we have cohesion all the way around the eye. 
which is lovely there's not much else to be done because when we were applying cashmere to the inner corner we got a little bit of overspray down here so it kind of worked out i don't have to add anything else down there just like with traditional makeup like you can get fallout with airbrush makeup you can get overspray so <laughs> It's like you don't really eliminate that issue. You just kind of trade it for a different issue. <laughs> Anyways, rent over. Let's go ahead and give my eyes a little bit of a line. I want to line them, but I'm not sure with what yet. I want just a very fine line. So should I go in with jet black? Hmm. Jet black here yeah let's go in with jet black why not let's let's do airbrush liner okay just a soft line i don't want to do a wing or anything like that your girl wants to keep it very natural so i'm just going to take oh, oh, oh a little dusting because we're doing eyeliner we want things to be nice and fine i am going to go ahead and swap out my airbrush for um a different one when i'm doing eyeliner I'm going to be taking the 0.25 millimeter airbrush and I find that one I get a little bit more control. I can get a finer line because the needle nozzle size is smaller. So I'm just going to take a drop of jet black. Come on baby, drop for me. Houston, we need lift off. We don't have lift off. We don't have lift off. Abort mission. Okay, so let's see. I don't know why it's like not there it is okay she's flowing now it's fine totally fine <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and close this bottle before i tip it over because i'm clumsy and i'm just gonna go ahead and test out my spray on a tissue looks good and we're just gonna give a nice soft line to the eye so when you look at the shadow shield it may seem like both curves are the same but they're not one curve actually is more rounded and the other one is more like straight so I want the more rounded curve because of the way my eyes are shaped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up. Cause I just want the liner at the lash line to give me the most uh, real estate here on my lid. Cause I do have hooded eyelids, they're semi-hooded. And without lifting the stencil, I'm just gonna go all the way across the lash line because that saves me work from having to reline each time and I'm just gonna take that on the end there there we go perfect all right so that was done quick and easy looks like your girl still has it <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do the other eye and then we'll be right back all right so now that the upper eyelash line is upper eyelash line now that the lash line on the upper lid is lined let's go ahead and line the outer corner of the lower lash line just like so, giving it a nice little dusting. I like to give it a little bit of a dusting just to go ahead and define the shape on the eye. For cohesion. Here we go. Okay, looks good. All right, so now that the eyes are lined, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, choose a highlighter. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Temp2 a perfect canvas highlighter in the shade. I have champagne, rose gold, and pink pearl. I think I'm gonna go with pink pearl because this is like the vibe that I have going on. So this is Temp2 Perfect Canvas Highlighter in the shade Pink Pearl. Okay, so I went ahead and put several drops of pink pearl into my Temp2 AirPod Pro. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the compressor on. It's on speed setting two. I want to spray it on my skin to make sure and then I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the high points of my face carefully because it's really easy to overdo it with the Temp2 AirPod on the bridge of the nose. I'm going to go ahead and once over the tear duct and then give the brow bone a glow. Can't forget the cubic bow. Okay, and the neck and chest, because, you know, we can't forget the neck and chest. Mm-hmm. There we go. Ooh, you see that? Oh, oh she chose right. <laughs> all right, so now that we have the highlighter all done and I am glowing like so, let's go ahead and dive into the more fun stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and bump up this airbrush eyeshadow and eye look. So let's just go ahead and dive in to all of that good stuff. And first things first, we're going to apply some glitter 
to this look. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do that half cut crease. Now the original look that I did, I went in with this MAC glitter. And this MAC glitter is actually in the shade Pink Hologram. And I'll give you a close up of it in a minute. But this was the original look. And as you can see here, I just applied that glitter as the like cut crease. Not going like the full line, but you know like that cut crease like right, right there on the top. And then I added some jewels on it to the original look. So this was the original look. As you can see, we kind of shifted a little bit to try to get, you know, a little bit of a, a fun color shifting thing going on here. But the heart of it stems from this original look that I have here. So let's dive into this MAC glitter. This glitter was actually a glitter that I picked up during the holiday season. And it actually looks like this. Super pretty, has some lavender in it. Even though it's called Pink Hologram, it is all over the place iridescent. And I'll just go ahead and apply that with a little bit of lash glue. This is the same lash glue that I used. Not the exact same one because I had to buy a new one because the other one obviously like went bad <laughs> um, because these only last for like six months. But anyways, I picked up a new one today just so I can go ahead and finish off this look so we would not skip a step. So instead of dipping the... Uh, Using the applicator directly on the eye, I'm actually going to go ahead and take a disposable one and just take some of that glue. Actually, you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to put some of it on a palette. That way I can go ahead and just dip right back into it. So I have a palette here. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of glob up a good amount of that glue. Probably have to work a little bit fast. So I took a little bit of that glue <laughs> on my little palette here. And I'm just going to go ahead with that disposable applicator, just apply the cut like so. Now I want it to be above this like fold that I have on my eyelid. That way the glitter doesn't move or shift around. So I'm going to be very careful. And I'll pull it right there. I think I'm going to stop right there like so back in there like that then i'm going to take some of the mac glitter while this is getting nice and tacky on the same palette oh that is way too much i just poured out way too much of that but you know what i don't really use glitter in the everyday makeup game so it's, it's all good <laughs> i'm just gonna start applying that to the line with another applicator like so Oh yeah, I'm feeling festive. Okay, that looks really, really pretty. And to remove the excess glitter off of like my eye and everywhere so it doesn't get in my eye, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my airbrush and just kind of get it off my lashes. There we go. Take any excess off that's not sticky and then on the rest of the face you just want it away from the you just want it away from the um, eyeball <laughs> I don't want it going in my eyeball so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a disposable spoolie and just kind of fleck away excess glitter it's just picking up the excess glitter as much of it as possible oh, see one up there you don't belong Oh, that looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look, check this out. How pretty is that? Oh, we're going to have to do a flashlight shot so you can go ahead and get it in all its glory. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and we'll be right back to go ahead and add those gemstones. All right, so now that we have a beautiful glittery cut crease, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot how beautiful this glitter is. It's just... Oh, it's so pretty. I'm feeling so like festive. Yay! <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the little gems. And this is just something I picked up from the craft store. I've used it for years now. It's just like this little wheel. You can pick them up at pretty much any craft store. Feel free to use any gem that you want if you decide to go ahead and recreate this look. But I'm using these ones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Use my Kiss Lash Glue, same applicator and all of that. Not gonna contaminate the uh, container. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying some gems so just do it going to be even 
harder to do. Okay. And this one right at the edge of the cut crease there. Okay. That. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did to this eye with the gems to the other eye We're gonna finish off with the lippy and then wrap this video out So let me go ahead and get that done. Hold on one second. All right, so now the eyes are all done I did go ahead and pop on some lashes and the lashes that I used today were the kiss lashes in the style Ritzy and then before I pop those lashes on I did go ahead and pop on the M cosmetics pick me up mascara and yeah That's about it for the eyes. Everything went smoothly. I think it looks all beautiful and festive So let's just go ahead and finish off this look by doing something with the lips so i decided to go ahead and wrap this look out with a more nudie pinky kind of lip so i'm going to be taking the oh my gosh this is like oh. <laughs> It's like all like written off. Oh my gosh. Okay. So anyways, this is I believe the um, Rimmel London lasting finish lip liner in the shade uh, four natural so it looks like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with this give some color a little fill after all I'm not going out on New Year's okay so I could do this because there's no masks necessary <laughs> gonna keep it safe keep my community safe and stay inside all right, so now that I have a fill on that, I'm gonna go ahead and top it with some gloss. And for this look, I chose the Dose of Colors gloss in the shade Almond Butter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top the lips off. Pardon if you can see it. Hopefully you can't, <laughs> but if you can, pardon my severely chapped lips, okay? Winter, naturally big lips, lots of chapness going on. So just excuse that for me, please. <laughs> I've been working on it, trying to trying to better it, but I have not found anything that is making it not chapped. So if you have any recommendations, please put them down in the comment section below for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, so that's about it for the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and judge the hair. We will give you some close-ups of the final look with the eye and everything, and then we'll wrap this video out. So let me go ahead and judge my hair real quick. Hold on one second. All right, I went ahead and touched up the hair a little bit, added some curls, and I absolutely love it. It's totally a vibe. I have my Starry Night PJs. Yes, this is a two-piece pajama set. I like it because these stars actually have like an iridescence to them they're like multicolored and like um metallic and all of that so i figured it'd be perfect to wear for new year's eve because let's be real ain't nobody going out new year's eve okay and at least not in my house okay because we need to keep it safe we need to keep it sane healthy clean so we celebrating at home this year and i'm fine with it i'm honestly i spend most of my new year's at home anyway so it really didn't change much for me other than the fact that i went full glam full beat this is definitely not a oh natural look okay we dove in i got lashes i got the full beat going on full coverage going on we added freckles i added glitter gems lashes we went all out and i am absolutely loving it so let's just go ahead and give you those close-up shots so you can go ahead and see all this beautifulness Alright, so now that you've seen the close-ups that about wraps it out for this video, I want to thank you so much. If you were one of those people who made it to the end of the video, I just want to give you a special thank you. It means the world to me that you guys are watching these videos through and through and spending time with me and actually enjoying the time that you're spending with me. It really, it makes my day and I just can't tell you, like, I just get instant smiles anytime I see people engaging in the emoji game, engaging in the comments, just engaging with me all together. Uh, it just makes me so happy and I enjoy it and it's one of the reasons why I continue to stay here on YouTube even after seven years of doing it. <laughs> yes, I've been on YouTube for seven years, bro, and it's like, it's been a whirlwind but for the most part i've really enjoyed my time here and it is all thanks to you guys so if you made it to the end of this video do me a favor 
go with the purple vibes, leave me a purple heart <laughs> emoji in the comment section below. If you want to comment, of course, there's no pressure, but I really, really enjoy seeing the comments down below. So if you are wanting to comment, if you're going to comment, go ahead and leave me a purple heart emoji. I would really, really appreciate it. If you're watching from a PC, just type in the words purple heart <laughs> and I'll know that you are one of those people who made it to the end of the video and I will go ahead to make sure to give you my love in a special comment just for you <laughs> and maybe you might get a shout out in the next video I'm thinking I'm gonna start giving you guys a little bit more shout outs especially all you real ones who have been with me checking on me and all of that good stuff so with that being said let's just go ahead and dive into the realness 2020 is coming to an end it did a number on a lot of us especially me I took five months in total off of social media in general just to kind of get my head together and after being on youtube for about seven years over 400 plus videos to take five months off it just really woke me up and really got me thinking and asking those important questions so 2020 was a really really tough year for everyone and i hope that you guys are all ending it on a positive note and with that being said i want to thank you so much for being here with me i appreciate you guys so 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 much and i want to thank you for another year and i look forward to seeing you guys in 2021 there's a lot of things going on a lot of new things that i'm trying that i'm testing that i'm doing and it's going to be really really fun to kind of transition everything with this new of mind that I have and this new positive energy and outlook. I'm really, really excited for my social media and my channel. So hopefully we will continue growing the I Heart Airbrush family and, you know, I'll get to know you guys a little bit better and you guys will get to know me a little bit better in the coming year. But yes, before I rant on, because I can, you know, I can do that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next one in 2021. Okay. Bye loves.